Um, my name's Theo Kraus. Um, I've lived in uh, East Austin for nearly 30 years. I moved here in 1995. Uh, one of the motivating factors to move to the East Side was the strong uh, sense of culture that the East Side had in 95. Um, a lot of that has changed pretty dramatically recently, but um, I think there are a couple of factors that still keep us tied to the east side. Um, one being our proximity to the trail uh, and nature. Um, it's always been an incredible outlet for our family. Whenever we've needed a, a, a recharge from the fr frenetic energy of the city, we go down to the waterfront, whether it's for a run um, or to paddle or just to sit by the water with our dogs. It's always a great quiet space that allows us to recharge. Um, I think that, um, you know, one of the other great senses of um, belonging that happened for us in the East Side really centers around um, our connection to neighbors and the people who've been in this area for a really long time. Um, I feel like our roots have really I mean, 30 years is a long time, but you don't necessarily always jibe or have roots that set deeply where you live. And I feel like this, um, this location for us has really been that. We have a really strong sense of community and that's actually um, grown actually in recent years where um, we are starting to hold block parties and bringing people long time uh, residents together with um, newer residents to the uh, or, um, residents that have moved to the neighborhood. And it's really um, deepened a connection um, that has, has actually really not existed for us. So um, we have this longstanding connection to friends, but a deeper growing and widening um, connection to community um, through um, neighborhood activities, which has really changed in recent years, which we really love. Um, I think one of the concerns that um, I think all East Austin residents who've been here for a while might be experiencing is just the um, the loss of neighborhood scale and how some sectors of the city are being overshadowed by development and just the transformation. The transformation in parts of East Austin have been so absolutely dramatic that um, there are there are times where my wife and I will be driving through sections of town that we've lived in and around, and we can't even remember what it used to be like. It's so absolutely different. Um, so uh, there's always a concern that, you know, is the, is the, is the, the skyline or is the impact of that development going to really inhibit the trail? Because it is such a sacred space, um, I think, for many people in central um, Austin. That is a place to recharge and um, I think the Trails Foundation has done a really good job of creating a buffer and uh, in collaboration with the city and keeping that green space sacred and um, over time it's actually become wilder than you know sections of it um, than, than once used to be so that's a really neat um, feature of what the Trails Foundation and the city are doing. Um, I was involved in the uh, planning charrette that the city held for um, getting uh, community input for the development of an expansion of the trail in front of the dam. And uh, I think uh, I'm really excited about the ideas. I think the boardwalk is absolutely stunning. It really changes your relationship and perspective to the city. Um, we spend a lot of time on the boardwalk just because it's such an inviting beautiful space. Um, and I think that the expansion that the city's um, going to be doing with the Trail Foundation um, for the dam is going to lead to, um, I think, the potential of expanding that green space to below the dam. And um, that's another sacred space for us that we really feel like we're in wild country when we um, go below the dam and explore that area. Um, because it is really untouched and there's wildlife back there. And um, I mean, it's been untouched for a number of years. Um, so it's it's returning to a wilder space as well. But I think uh, 
the vision that the city and Trails Foundation have for expanding the trail above the dam is really going to, um, I think, link people to a different part of the trail or give the city the advantage of, of expanding that um, and helping the uh, city's connection to nature and the river and, and um, um, uh, in, a, in a more dramatic way long term. Um, I think that uh, when I talk about the trail to people who've newly arrived to Austin, um, I think one thing they don't have perspective uh, around regarding the trail is just the amount of energy that the city uh, and other stakeholders have put into preserving that space because it is so sacred. It's used by just thousands of people on a daily basis, and it really does have the ability to connect parts of the city in a really special way. And so um, I think that um, for new people, it might just seem like a trail, but it is really the heart of the city and that it's really important to preserve and connect some of the important um, pieces of the downtown area uh, and, and, and preserve it in, in a natural way to uh, really create a sacred buffer from the development that's really happening uh, in Austin and has and will continue to happen in Austin for years to come.